Hey, what's up, YouTube? I know we live in a different generation now because I know you've seen your parents go to work for 30, 40 years and they told you if you work hard at your job, put in some extra overtime, eventually you'll get moved up as long as you're a hard worker at your job, right? Well, we live in a completely different generation now and this generation, we have this thing called quiet quitting and we go by the term hey as long as we get paid on the first and 15th I ain't worried about all that other stuff we just going to our job we're not putting in any extra overtime we're not trying to be the overworker if they say hey can you stay after work for a little bit we need some extra help with this job you can be like nah my <laughs> i clock out at five big dog i'm gonna catch y'all next week it's friday my friday about to get started that's the generation we live in we just go to work we work for a couple years and then we look for the next upgrade. We don't stay at jobs three, four, 10, 15 years. We in the job for three years, get some experience and then we moving up or we moving out. That's the generation we live in. We're not trying to overwork like our parents did. Uh, so that's called quiet quitting. And we have the terminology if it's, hey, as long as I'm getting paid on the first and 15th, Sally could work as hard as she can over there, but me and Sally gonna get paid the exact same out on the first and 15th. As long as I come in and do the bare minimum, we're gonna get paid the exact same amount. That's called quiet quitting. Well, let me tell you guys something. Getting paid on the first and 15th, you only getting two checks a month. That ain't really nothing. Just imagine waking up, bam, you got paid. You got a check in your bank account. Boom, you brushing your teeth, you about to go pick up breakfast, bam, you got another check in your bank account. You at work and Bob, your manager say, hey, I need you to restock this, bam, you got another check in your bank account. Now, I know you guys are asking, how am I getting paid multiple times in a single day while I'm actually at work? So how am I getting paid while I'm at work getting paid? So let me tell you guys right now, I got paid over 21 different times this month in the form of dividends that's right guys in the form of dividends passive income completely passive income i'm getting paid while i'm at work i'm getting paid while my aunt while my boss telling me to do this and do that i'm getting paid and it makes it that much easier to quiet quit because i'm getting paid on the first the second the third the fourth the fifth the sixth in the 15th on end so it makes it that much easier to quiet quit i go in i get paid hey if you want to work hard if you want to you can if you want to get moved up in that job I, it makes it that much easier for this generation the millennials it's a big popular movement right now we're going to go in you get paid multiple times a month and i'm getting paid 21 times a month i'm going to show you guys how in this video i'm going to show you exactly where i started i started dividend investing first of all dividend investing is when you buy shares of a company and that company pay you back in the form of dividends as a way to say kind of like hey thank you for investing into our company and for you investing into our company here's a little check do with it with what you want nine times out of ten that company is hoping that you reinvest those dividends back into that company to help that company grow and you can make even more money in the future because you have more shares or you can just take that dividend payment and you can use it on your bills you can use it on vacation you can use it on anything now i started dividend investing around four years ago i'm going to show you guys where i started i'm going to show you guys where i started a lot of people like to show themselves at the top i'm about to show you where i started and it was at the bottom guys i'm talking but I wasn't making too much from dividends. I wasn't really sure about this dividend movement. It was a huge dividend movement around four years ago. I wasn't really sure, but I dug my feet in and I stuck my head down and I kept dividend investing. I'm about to show you guys exactly how I paid off to where I'm able to get 21 dividend payments in a single month. I'm gonna show you what companies I'm investing into that I got paid out this month. Just remember, I invest into, I'm gonna explain it to you guys in the video. I'm gonna explain it to you guys in the video. But I was gonna say that dividend investing is by far the best way to earn passive income because you're doing nothing at all. But if you do want to learn more about dividends, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Um, it's a free ebook called Mastering Dividends. Check that out, I'm telling you guys, it's completely free. Now, if you guys do check out the Mastering Dividends, you will find some value in that. But before we get started, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. Moo. If you sign up using the link down in the description, deposit $100, you can receive up to 14 free stocks. Who knows, some of those free stocks could be dividend paying stocks. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that benefits you in the future. But if you guys do wanna kickstart your investing journey by signing up for these free platforms and receiving free stocks, this is an easy way. And also I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Weeble. If you sign up with Weeble and deposit any amount, if you deposit one penny, you can receive up to 14 free stocks. Uh, that is by far the easiest way to get started. It's literally free money. Once you receive these free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you could sell these free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Do not miss out on this opportunity. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Actually, 
I want you guys to go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button because it helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. Let's go all the way back to around four, four and a half years ago. Here we are. This is when I first started investing into my dividend wave, into the dividend investing journey on May 2019. And my first dividend checks that I received for the entire month was 78 cents. And I'll tell you, I'm going to show you guys from the very beginning. Now, a lot of people would have stopped there. They would say, hey, 78 cents is not enough money. It's not worth it for me to be investing. I would rather enjoy my time buying Jordans or Nikes or something like that other than me investing inside the stock market. Just a month later, I made $33.43 in dividends, which is a huge jump. I'm going to show you guys how that happened. And then back to August 2019, $6.79. September, $10.27. And yes, from YouTube, I was earning $20 a month from YouTube. A lot of people would have stopped in, but I'm showing you guys a little hard work and digging in will actually pay off. Um, October 9th, uh, 2019, $48.32. Made $37 from YouTube. Um, November, $21.00 from dividend, $67 from YouTube. And then at the end of the year, December, 2019, $33.35. I made that month in the form of dividends and around $84 from YouTube. So a lot of people think, hey, just because you're getting started making videos that you're gonna make a lot of money or you start dividend investing, it's gonna pay off soon. I'm telling you guys, it's very hard in the beginning, but once you continue to roll it, that's why I track my progress to see the snowball effect it kicked in. I'm telling you guys, if you stay to the end of this video, you're gonna see the snowball effect kick in so let's go ahead and dive onto what stocks pay me out this month all right here we are on robin hood let's go ahead and change it over to dividends all right so these are the dividend payments from the month of june i am recording it before june end but by the time this video comes out it should be probably the first of july so you guys will see all of my june dividend payments now every company i'm showing you do not pay dividends every single month those are called monthly paying dividend stocks those are stocks that pay out their dividend payments 12 times a year every single month and then most companies pay you out quarterly paying dividend stocks i'm going to show you which ones are quarterly paying dividend stocks and which ones are monthly paying dividend stocks but quarterly paying dividend stocks you receive a check every three months or four times a year so let's start it off with the very first company take a symbol f for mortars i own 22 shares of ford I'm paying out 15 cents a share, which paid me out $3.30. Now, Ford has been pulling back since I have bought it. I, I'm going to go into details about some of these stocks. Ford is a quarterly paying dividend stocks. So if I wanted to detail about every stock, this video would be about an hour long, but I'm gonna pick out some interesting ones to show you guys. All right, the next one is Intel, ticker symbol INT. I own 55 shares of Intel, paying out 12 cents um, per share and I earned a total of $6.88. That brings my total to $10.18 so far. The next one that paid me out on June 1st, that's right, I'm receiving three checks, so far four checks, in just one day on the first of the month, plus my job, so that's five checks, so it makes it a lot easier to quiet quit. I got Visa, a fraction of a share of Visa, 45 cents per share, so I received one penny from Visa. And then if we go into WTRG, they're a water utility type company that deals with sewage and stuff like that. It's always good to have utility companies in there. These are also a quarter, all of them that I showed you so far are quarterly paying dividend stocks. I own five shares of water, paying out 28 cents per share. They gave me a dollar and 44 cents. And after water, that brings my total to $11.63. And then the next following day, Sherman Williams SHW. Um, I bought this company at the beginning of the pandemic. A lot of people People, I seen it at a good value. A lot of people was repainting their house, repainting the inside of their house because they were stuck inside the house all day with nothing to do. And their, their paint just started skyrocketing. I bought a couple of shares and I sold some at the top. I own one share right now, paying out 60 cents and half per share. So I received 61 cents from Sherman Williams. This is also a quarterly paying dividend stocks. On the next one is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. &J. Uh, this is the next company I'm probably going to start stockpiling on. I love Johnson & Johnson. They are dividend kings. Now, dividend kings is any stock that is inside the S&P 500 that have increased their dividend yield, increased their dividend payments every single year for the last 50 
years for the last 50 years and johnson johnson is a dividend king or the dividend aristocrat i have to check on that aristocrats increased their um, dividends for the last 25 years anyway i love johnson johnson i believe that dividend kings i own one share and they pay out a dollar and 19 cents now the reason i love dividend kings is because they show long growth of their dividends you're going to be a dividend investor you don't want to invest into companies that don't increase their dividends because you're not going to beat inflation and you don't want to invest into companies that cut their dividends because you're going to lose some value in the equity of that company so that's johnson and johnson the next one is microsoft microsoft is another one i'm going to stockpile on microsoft ticker symbol msft um the number of shares i own is seven and a half shares paying out 68 cents per share and they pay me out a total of five dollars and three cents uh microsoft is also a quarterly paying dividend stock and after microsoft that going to bring my total to 18 dollars and 46 cents the next one that pay me out is a monthly paying dividend stock ticker symbol agnc this is not my fate well agnc is okay right now they're on a the low they are a REIT. they invest into real estate and they're required by law to pay out 90 percent of their taxable income back in the form of dividends to their investors so it's always good to have a good REIT on your inside your portfolio this is not my favorite REIT. I'm going to show you my favorite REIT in this video, so make sure you don't skip out on that. But I own 119 shares, paying out 12 cents per share, and I receive a total of $14.28 this month. And remember, I receive that $14.28 every single month because this is a monthly paying dividend stock. And after AGNC, that's going to bring my total to $32.74. The next company that paid me out is ticker symbol MMM love mmm again they are dividend kings they i think they've been increasing their dividend payment for the last 60 something years um, i own two shares 3m is another company i eventually do want to own 100 shares of they pay out a dollar and 50 cents it's going to be the total they pay me three dollars and three cents this is a quarterly paying dividend stock 3m owns everything from sticky notes to to the face mask the duct tape 3m owns everything guys trust me you have a, a product of 3m inside of your house right now the next company i'm going to show you guys is ticker symbol o now this is the monthly paying dividend stock this is a real estate REIT, and this is one that pays out every single month and this is one of the ones that i love above agency i own 10 shares i reinvest my dividends back into um ticker symbol o because i do want more of them in the future they pay out 25 cents per share for a total of two dollars and 63 cents and they are dividend aristocrats they have been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 25 years now this is the one i do love above agnc so let's go to the next one ticker symbol wm waste management absolutely love waste management got to get more shares of waste management 14 and a half shares 70 cents per share paying out ten dollars 18 cents take a look at waste management this is one of the companies that literally only goes up this is one of the companies that literally only goes up um there's always going to be trash there's always going to be people that needs to pick up the trash and waste management is one of those so um i'm up 12 percent on them so far already should have bought more of them way back in the past so that's waste management after waste management that's going to bring my total to 48 dollars and 58 cents the next one is psec monthly paying dividend stock 22 shares paying out six cents per share a dollar and 34 cents after that is spyd this is a, a a high dividend yield etf pays out every single month um 11 shares 46 cents per share pay me out five dollars and 24 cents and then after that is NetEase. this is like one of the gaming companies kind of like them they're pretty good let's take a look at them over the last year they've up two percent five years that has been their ups and downs but been doing pretty good five and a half shares ish um uh, paying out 46 cents per share and i received two dollars and 43 cents now we're gonna go to the companies that's gonna pay me out um in the rest of june taking some sphd this is another high dividend low volatility um etf i own 30 shares of this this is a monthly paying dividend stock i own 30 shares of this paying out 15 cents per share paying me out four dollars and 76 cents so after sphd that's going to bring my total to 62 dollars and 35 cents now let's go to pey another high yield dividend etf on 107 shares paying out seven cents per share paying me out seven dollars and 69 cents now all of these etfs i have inside my portfolio i am eventually going to consolidate these i'm going to sell out uh, the, all the bad ones now that i know more about the stock market remember i was investing way back in 2019 didn't know too much about the game but now that i do i'm going to consolidate those and put it into my favorite um high yielding etfs or into more dividend kings so let's go back to one of my high paying ones 
ticker symbol QYLD. This is a 100 cover call ETF. That's what I like doing even better than paying dividends. So if you don't know what cover calls or cash puts are, you might want to check out a couple of my other videos. This pays out way more than um, dividends, but it's not as passive. You kind of you know, you kind of got to know a little bit about the stock market. But um, if you don't, this is an easy way to do cover calls on 288 shares. I'm paying out 17 cents per share and I receive a total of $51.02. If we take a look at QILD um, over the last year, they've been on the incline. I, I am up around 4% on QILD. I started dollar cost averaging in on them um, when that was at the low. So I did get in at a pretty decent time. Not the best time, but I did get in at a pretty decent time, earning me around $50 every single month. Plus, I'm up 4% just from owning their uh, shares of that company. So after QYLD, that's going to bring my total to $121.06. After that is NVIDIA. Everybody knows NVIDIA by now. I got 0.76 shares of NVIDIA, $0.04 cents per share. Uh, I received $0.03. Cents. NVIDIA, I got in on NVIDIA a very long time ago. I'm up 237%. Uh, really wish I had more money back in 2019. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm up a lot on NVIDIA. Now let's go to the next one, PepsiCo. This is a quarterly paying dividend stock. Absolutely love PepsiCo. Um, the company to me is better than Coca-Cola, even though I love drinking Coke. But overall, they own a lot more products. I own two shares. Also, and PepsiCo is a dividend king. They just became dividend kings. They increased their dividend payments every single year for the last 50 years. They just increased it. To made it to go into the last 50 years um i kind of knew they was going to do that by year 48 so i kept investing into them i own two shares i end up getting two shares over time remember guys any average person could do this it took me a couple years to get two shares of some of some of these companies in the in my early investing journey so you could do this as well um i receive a dollar and 26 cents per share so they pay me out two dollars and 53 cents if you take a look at pepsico they've been doing pretty good over the years and i'm up 28 percent um let's do one more this is okay so pepsico was the last one that's going to pay me in my robin hood account with two dollars 53 cents so that's going to bring my total to 123 dollars and 62 cents now let's go over to my Weibo account okay here we are inside my Weibo account let's filter it by dividends all right so here we are in my Weibo account the first one on here is microsoft they pay me out um nine dollars and 52 cents i think i own around 14 shares of microsoft inside of this portfolio this is going to be um my 20th check microsoft is going to bring my total to 133 dollars and 14 cents that's microsoft and the next one that's going to pay me it hasn't popped up, popped up on here yet but they pay out on the last day of july so i should be receiving from qyld a nice little check from them for around um uh, $141.62. And because I own in here 842 shares of QYLD inside of my Weibo account, and that's gonna bring my total, my grand total after 21 checks to $274.76. That's right, guys. Um uh, 21 checks if you do want to get 14 free shares of in in moo moo link in the description if you do want to get 14 free shares of weeble link in the description deposit a penny get free shares but yes now when i was started and when i first started off i think i received around 70 cents 70 cents from my dividend investing journey that's nothing that all a lot of people would have stopped in fact over six months of investing by the six month i was making like 30 dollars per month and now just over the last four and a half years i'm up to 274 dollars and 76 cents now that's not even my biggest month because remember i have more shares i have more companies inside my portfolio and most of those are quarterly paying dividend stocks that means that uh every other month is going to be a a whole different list of companies paying me dividends so this month might be 20 checks the next month might be 18 the month after that might be 30 checks and then I'm back to 21 checks because of the quarterly paying dividend stocks. So the $274 might not be my highest month ever, but it's for me to look back to where I started, just making 70 cents and I'm up to $274.76 per month. If you multiply that by 12, that's gonna come out to a grand total of $3,297.12 by doing absolutely nothing. Go to work, quiet, quick, 
At the end of the year, I have an extra $3,000 in my bank account in the form of dividends by doing absolutely nothing to take a vacation every single year or to invest into some more stocks every single year or to buy an old school vehicle or now you can buy your Jordans. Now you can buy your Nikes. Now you can buy whatever you want in the form of dividends for putting your boom, 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 sticking your feet in the ground, putting your head down and investing for just four years. That's the time it takes to go to high school from a little bit of investing like that. Now you're not waiting on your job to say, hey, here go your bonus this month. Now you're not waiting on your job to say, hey, here go a half a percent increase on your salary this month. You're making your own increase that makes it much easier to quiet quit for this generation. So guys, if you want to learn more about dividend investing, scroll down, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, check out the Mastering Dividend free ebook down in the description. Sign up, get your free stocks, and let me know down in the comment section. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section for you guys that made it all the way to the end. This is how I'm going to know if you made it all the way to the end. I want you to start off your comment with say, hey, that's what's up, bro. So you can say, hey, that's what's up, bro, and then follow it with anything. So for example, if you have already been dividend investing and receiving different checks per month, let's say you receive four checks this month and how much you made, just say, hey, that's what's up, bro. I received four dividend payments this month and I received $10 this month. Or, hey, that's what's up, bro. I received 15 checks this month and from dividend investing, I earn $30. So just let me know for all the real ones to start off your coming with, hey, that's what's up, bro. And if it don't start off with that, then you're probably a scammer. And watch out for them scammers down in the comment sessions because they are down there. Remember, my name is going to have like a little check mark on the side. Don't fall for any of the fake Dream Green shows down in the comment section. I'm going to have the little check. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.